Hello students. Today we are going to gain knowledge something about a few most important physiological process that is called as a nutrition. Now children, first thing I want to make uh, you clear is nutrition and intake of food. These are two different things. Actually intake of food is a part of nutrition. But intake of food, this particular process cannot be called as nutrition. So now, what is nutrition? Now, nutrition, it is a process of intake as well as utilization of nutrients by an organism. So it is intake and utilization of nutrients, different nutrients like carbohydrates, fats, proteins, etc. Nutrients by an organism by an organism. So this particular physiological phenomena is called as nutrition and just intake of food is a part of nutrition because after taking inside the food, the food will get digested and the nutrients will split off and there the utilization of these nutrients by an organism that is called as a nutrition. Now, actually it is a process of breakdown of nutrients. In other words, what we can say, it is a process of breakdown of nutrients into smaller molecules, into smaller molecules and their absorption too, their absorptions in each and every cell of our body to perform all the metabolic activities of the cell. So food provides us nutrition and energy. It contains different types of nutrients in varying amounts according to the need of our body. Now let me talk something about the different kinds of nutrients. There are different kinds of nutrients. Nutrients. Now these are the substances. Actually these are the substances required by our body for growth, work, repair and maintenance and there are different kinds of nutrients they are as follows they can be carbohydrates, they can be fats, they can be proteins, vitamins, minerals etc. Now these are the major nutrients. Our daily energy need may vary according to our occupation, age, sex and under some specific conditions. Now these were uh, regarding the different kinds of nutrients. Now I will discuss the mode of nutrition. Mode of nutrition. There are several modes of nutrition on the basis of which organisms are classified as follows. There are two main categories. The organisms can be autotrophs or they can have an autotrophic mode of nutrition and on the other hand they can also have a heterotrophic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic mode of nutrition means they, are, they can synthesize their own food like plants. On the other end, heterotrophic mode of nutrition, they are not able to synthesize their own food. They cannot synthesize their own food. Now, let us discuss in detail the autotrophic mode of nutrition. Autotrophic mode. Now children, auto means what? Auto means self and Trophic means food. So the organisms which can prepare their uh, which can prepare the food for their own self that is called as autotrophs and their mode of nutrition is called an autotrophic. Uh, in other words, we can define it in which organisms prepare their own food that is autotrophic mode. And how organisms are preparing their own food? They are preparing their own food from inorganic molecules like carbon dioxide, water and these inorganic 
molecules they get ultimately converted into organic molecules like carbohydrates in the presence of sunlight sunlight is required and chlorophyll chl here stands for chlorophyll now these autotrophic or autotrophs they can be again categorized into two main categories autotrophs they again can have a two categories two main categories the first category is they can be photo autotrophs or they can be chemo autotrophs now what are photo autotrophs these are the organisms which utilize sunlight for preparing their food they utilize sunlight for preparing food like the common example for photo autotrophs uh, are green plants uh, they can be algae it can be purple red and green bacteria purple red and green bacteria on the other hand chemo autotrophs are those which utilize chemical energy for preparing their food they utilize chemical energy for their food preparation and the common example for this category is nitrifying bacteria it can be iron bacteria it can be sulfur bacteria etc so this was regarding the types of autotrophs or the major two categories of autotrophs now we'll come to second mode of nutrition that is heterotrophic mode hetero means different and trophic means food so it is a mode of nutrition in which organisms der derive their food from some other animals or plants they cannot prepare their own food they derive their food derive food from some other animals or plants for example common example for heterotrophic mode is human beings heterotrophs are further categorized depending on the nature of food they consume into the following categories and these are the ma major categories of heterotrophic mode of nutrition different categories they are as follows first is herbivores these are the animals which eat only plants common example cow goat etc second category includes all the carnivores they feed on the flesh of other animals like lion vulture etc the third category includes omnivores these feed on plants and animals both common example is dog crow humans etc fourth category includes sanguivores these feed on blood for example leech mosk female mosquito etc the next category includes frugivores animals frugivores these are the fruit eating animals for example parrot monkey etc the last category of heterotrophic mode is insectivores these feed on insects common example for insectivores is bats spiny ant eater lizard etc now this was the heterotrophic mode of nutrition on the basis of nature of food they consume so this categorization of was done on the basis of nature of food there is one more categorization for heterotrophic mode which is based on the feeding 
habits of the organism now on the basis of mode of feeding the organisms can be categorized as on the basis of mode of feeding the categorization can be done like this it can be holozoic it can be saprotrophic or it can be parasitic so these are the three main modes of nutrition on the basis of mode of feeding now let us first take in detail the holozoic mode of nutrition and that is holozoic mode of nutrition now in this holozoic mode actually it is a nutrition in which organism takes food in the form of complex organic matter in uh, takes food in the form of complex organic matter by ingestion so this type of nutrition is called as holozoic in fact in this nutrition the large organic molecules of ingested food are broken down into smaller soluble molecules so in this large molecules large organic molecules cues are broken down into smaller soluble substances with the help of digestive enzymes enzymes are also involved in this so they need enzymes also and common example of this mode is amoeba humans etc now next type of mode of nutrition is saprotrophic mode saprotrophic mode in this uh, the organisms absorb organic matter from the dead and decaying organisms so organic matter is absorbed is absorbed from dead and decaying organisms with the help of enzymes here also with the help of enzymes this type of nutrition is found most commonly in bacteria fungi etc now third type of mode of nutrition is parasitic mode of nutrition actually uh, in this the organisms derive their nutrition from other plants living plants or animals organisms derive their nutrition from other living plants or animals common example is plasmodium round worms etc now the organism which supports or provides substances to a parasite is called a host there are two organism one is a host and other is a parasite the parasite is drawing nutrition from a living organism and that is called as a host host is always living in other words the organism from which food is absorbed is called host in return the host is not benefited by the parasite a host may be either a plant or animal it can be plant or it can be animal examples of parasites are like several fungi bacteria flowering plants like cascuta which is also called as commonly known as amar bale and some other animals like plasmodium which causes malaria in man it can be ascaris etc now often two organisms or animals might live in association and derive nutrition from each other this is the case with some symbionts whose nutrition is rever 
referred to as a symbiotic nutrition. There is one more term, children, that is called as a symbiotic nutrition, or it can also be called as a symbiotic relationship. And common example for this is there is a uh, bacteria that is called as E. coli that lives in the intestine of man, and this. E. coli synthesizes vitamin B12 which is used by man and the E. coli receives in return simpler food from the intestine of the man. So E. coli is receiving food from the man's intestine. So both are getting benefited. So this type of relationship can be called as a symbiotic relationship. Now in the next lecture we will discuss first about the nutrition in plants and then will switch on to the nutrition in animals. Thank you children.